Hey cello players, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mia the Creative Cellist and today I'd like to talk to you about creating smooth bow changes. So one of the things that you might really enjoy about some of your favorite professional cello players is how smoothly they can change their bow so that the sound um, that they're creating sort of sounds like it's going on forever. They create these beautiful long lines. Um, this is not easy to accomplish, and what you need to be creating is balance in your arm and your bow and anticipating the bow change so that you can create that buttery and smooth change as you go from a down bow to an up bow. So the first thing in order to create this kind of sound, you want to make sure that you're really comfortable and relaxed as you're playing long bows across the string. So what I'd like to do is start by creating long tones. Let's start on the D string. So you're going to put your bow in the middle lane. So that's halfway between the fingerboard and the bridge. And you're just going to sort of sit on the string, move your bow back and forth a little bit and make sure that you're really relaxed in your hand. See if you can move your hand up and down, just relaxing the wrist, relaxing the hand. Once you feel like you've got a really comfortable and relaxed bow hold, we're going to pull the bow across the string, maintaining balance in a straight bow until we get to the tip. And once we get to the tip, we're going to stay here. We're going to stop at the tip. And I want you to rebalance your bow. So check that your hand is still really relaxed over here. You can see that my fingers are moving. Super relaxed bow hold and relax your arm. Make sure that your shoulder isn't up here by your ear. Nice and relaxed, drop the shoulder, drop the elbow, and then we're gonna move back towards the frog. And then stop there. And again, we're gonna relax the wrist, relax the hand. You can move your fingers up and down, make sure your bow holds really comfortable. And we're just gonna do that two more times. So one more down bow. Cross the string, straight bow, stop, wiggle your fingers in your hands, make sure that your wrist is really relaxed, that your shoulder is really relaxed, and then we're going to come back the other way. Okay, so once you're able to do a very relaxed down bow all the way to the tip, a very relaxed up bow all the way to the frog, then we have to think about how to change the bow so that the sound, there's a minimal break in the sound, so we don't hear very much of a break at all. And one way that I found that's really great for doing this is what I call anticipating the bow change. So as you're coming across your down bow, once you get to about the halfway point of your bow, you're going to start um, lifting the right arm in preparation to go the other way. So you'll notice that my elbow, my arm start to come up and then by the time I get to the up, I'm already prepared to move the other way. And then as I'm coming towards the frog, I'm dropping my elbow, lifting the elbow, dropping the elbow. So you're anticipating what position your arm needs to be in for what bow you're doing. And this is one fluid motion. It's kind of like a dancer bringing their arm up and then bringing it down. And all the time you're trying to maintain a relaxed feeling in your upper arm, in your neck, in your shoulder. You never want to bring the arm up to a point where you're cranking the shoulder and creating tension in your neck. So if that's happening, drop it down a little bit, just like this. Now, one thing you can do to add some um, fluidity to this movement and this sound is not only anticipate the bow change by lifting your arm up, but you can start moving your body in the direction that your bow is flowing. So, um, for example, if you're doing a down bow and you're anticipating the bow change, you're going to start moving your body in the direction of the bow change before you get there. So you can see I'm moving to the right just before I start my down bow and then I start to move to the left just before I do my up bow. And in this sense, you're helping the movement and the sound to be continuous and you're helping yourself to be relaxed. All the 
time keeping your cello with your body. Slightly anticipating when you change your bow. So hopefully those two things will help you. Making sure that you have a one fluid motion in your arm and that you're anticipating the bow change with your movements to the right and to the left as you play. Let me know how this works for you in the comments and I look forward to working with you again.